Hey everybody, this is a video comment reply I'm making for Phil. So Phil had an old hard drive that he was just trying to wipe out using the dispart clean command, and then he wanted to use it as a secondary drive in his computer. And he had a little trouble, so let me go to his original comment. That was, hello Jason, I used the great instructions on how to clean an old disc that I had hanging around. Can you give us a presentation on how to format the disc from scratch so we can use this as a backup disc? I had pro no problems with clean slash all, but when I tried to initialize this old disc as new, just would not work. Okay, so I'm gonna go through the process using that same drive that I had uh, in the video. So this is a 500 gig um, Samsung SSD just hooked into a USB to SATA adapter. So let's plug that in and I'll take you through the whole thing. So in just a second, that'll pop up when it recognizes it. Right here. Okay, great. So old hard drive E and let's pull up the disk manager. So click start, type disk, click on create and format hard disk. Uh, so these are the hard drives that are currently in my computer. Uh, so the one we're wanting to work on is E colon, the one on the bottom. And it says old hard drive formatted to NTFS. Well, now let's use this part to just wipe it out. Very quick, very easy. So click start, type CMD, run as administrator, and run this part. That's a little bit different than I did in the video, but that works. Let's make it bigger. All right, most important thing in the world is select and write drive before you type that clean command. You know what I mean? <laughs> so um, list disk, and there it is, disk number two, 465 gig, and I know that's the right one. So uh, select, or you can even do SEL disk two, clean. And before I hit enter, let's scoot this aside right there, and clean. Super fast, it's done, that's it. If you're not gonna secure erase it uh, with the all command, that's all you have to do. Um, so now, this assumes that you still have Windows and this is a secondary drive and this wasn't your primary drive. Um, so having Windows, if we close the, do the command prompt here, we'll go back and we see not initialized for disk two and unallocated. Um, so of course you can go in command prompt and try to figure out this part and commands and it's real tricky, even I would have to look it up to see exactly what you have to do. Like apparently F disk is no more, so um, you can format, but in order to format, you have to have a volume. So then you have to create a volume, blah, blah, yada, yada. But watch how easy this is. So again, I'm in disk management and I'll just right click on disk two where it has the red down arrow and click on initialize disk. Um, so here's a choice. Do you want the newer GPT or MBR, which is the really old you know, version of the file system? So I'm gonna do the GPT just to keep up with the times. And this two is selected. That's the one I right clicked on. Click OK. And that, that's that quick. All right, so now we have to format it. So right click where it says unallocated. Uh, now there's no volumes on there. So let's create a new simple volume by just clicking that. And for the most part, we're just gonna agree with these prompts. Um, Welcome, next. Okay, here's where it'll be the full size of the drive if you just click next. So hey, that sounds good to me. And here's the drive letter you want it to be when it's all done. Uh, so that's fine. Assign the following letter E. And here's our format options. So you can format to NTFS, which is the primary file system for all the newer versions of Windows. Um, Mac can read that, but sometimes it can't write to it. Uh, but if you're all Windows, just do NTFS. Um, the other option would be the EXFAT, which is you know compatible across different operating systems. But a lot of the NTFS security is not there at all, uh, so it's less secure. So I'm gonna leave it NTFS, perform quick format, uh, that's fine, uh, as long as you don't need to totally erase the drive again and wipe out everything on it, and click Next. It gives you a summary, click Finish, and because it's a quick format, it will be quick. So there, all right. So now if we look at it, we have new volume E, and it's the full size of the drive, and it shows up right here, and we're done. <laughs> so you can uh, load anything you want to on here, and you can give it a better name. I think when I before I formatted it, it gave me a chance to rename it, but you can also, um, right here, just right click anywhere you see E colon, or actually on the side, right click, E colon, properties, and then up here you can say old hard drive, or whatever you want to call it, uh, within limits of what it accepts and that changes it to old hard drive. <laughs> that took a while, but yeah, finally it kicked in.
So hopefully that answers all your questions and gets you going. If not, uh, do leave a reply to this comment chain and I'll keep an eye on it. And even if I need to make another video showing how to do more technical stuff, I'll be happy to. So, all right, well, thanks for reaching out, commenting and asking for help. And I love making videos. I'm gonna start making a whole bunch more. All right, thanks guys, take care.